Which car wins the race? The one which travels at the fastest rate. In mechanical systems, rate measures an event and how long it takes for that event to happen. These machines are making milk containers at a specific rate. The number of containers that come out in the end is the production rate of the entire factory. How fast the factory produces bottles will determine the rate at which the money rolls in when the bottles are sold. Rate is an event over time. Sometimes an event can be a motion when an object covers a distance. For example, these cars are moving along the assembly line at a certain speed. Speed is a rate, a distance over elapsed time. Take, for example, a speed limit. The sign tells you a unit of distance and a unit of time. That's how you find rate in a mechanical system, distance divided by time. So for miles per hour, miles is the unit of distance, and the hour is a unit of time. Kilometers per hour is also distance over time. It's this relationship between distance and time that the police use when they catch speeders from the air. There are markings on the highway that are spaced at specific distances. A helicopter alerts a police cruiser who may also be using his radar detector. It works in a similar way by electronically measuring the time it takes a vehicle to cover a distance and calculate the speed. If you get caught, your rate was too fast. Sometimes there's more than one rate to keep track of at the same time. The pilot of this Harrier jump jet has to be concerned with his speed forward, but also his speed downward, his rate of descent. Whether the units are feet per second, kilometers per hour, or centimeters per year, they are always distance over time. A technological device does not always move at the same speed. In other words, its rate will change. Watch what happens as his aircraft speeds up for takeoff. The dots mark off equal units of time. Compare that to when the same aircraft flies by. and compare that to a landing. The dots mark off equal units of time. When it took off, it covered a greater distance for each unit of time. That's an acceleration. Flying by, it covered the same distance per unit of time, a constant rate and landing, it covered less distance, a deceleration. Speeding up, slowing down, starting, stopping, in fact, any change of motion is an acceleration. Suppose you want to calculate an acceleration. What you are measuring is how much the rate changes over a period of time. So what you need to know is the difference between the speed at the beginning and the end of the change. So take the speed at the end of the acceleration, or the final speed, and subtract from that the speed you began with, or the initial speed. Divide all of that by elapsed time. What you end up with is a rate over time. You could call this one meters per second per second, but usually an acceleration is expressed as meters per second squared. So far, we've only been talking about linear systems, systems that move in a straight line. In rotational systems, the rate can also be constant or changing. The calculations for rate in a rotational system are similar, that is, displacement over elapsed time, except that displacement is measured as an angle of rotation, represented by the symbol theta. Seven, five, 
31, 681. Here's an excellent example of rate being carefully controlled. Custom on engine 2307, come in the inbound at Archer Training R5, over. This is the Norfolk Southern Corporation shunting yard, where trains are assembled using gravity. Can you see how it's done? These boxcars are not powered. They're coasting to their destinations because of a precise control of rate. When a car is pushed to the top of the hill, a computer weighs it and calculates the speed the car needs to coast to its destination. As the car rolls down the hill, it accelerates. Brakes in the track, also controlled by the computer, only allow the car to accelerate up to a calculated speed. The car then coasts the rest of the way on its own decelerating until it reaches the train with just enough speed left over to couple up. Rate in a mechanical system is speed. A changing rate is an acceleration. Controlling rate Make sure that objects are moved just the right distance in just the right time.